like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Thursday, out here, 2700, the Tapsico, AFL-CIO endorsements are being handed out. Mr. Hassan Giordano, GCOM Media, what's the word? Oh man, the word, this, this right here, this is politics one-on-one, -on -one, Donnie. This is the endorsement process, one of the, the mo ones that are the more exciting ones where everybody lines up, you got the campaign signs out there on the street, you got the workers, the candidates uh, out here lining up, trying to give literature to the delegates who are going to go in there. Uh, and I, obviously AFL-CIO being the umbrella of the majority of the unions here in the city of Baltimore, it's a very big endorsement process. So even the mayor's here, I mean, everybody's out here. Well, voter, voter apathy, uh -huh. uh, where is it? Where are we today? Uh, uh, should we still expect the poor? voter turnout or is momentum picking up is interest picking up are the issues starting to stick um the issues are what they are i think for the most part it, it they remain the same but however i think that the apathy is slowly decreasing i think because of um alternative media such as be more news and others value my vote 2011.com things of that sort they have started educating and motiv motivating individuals to get more involved to learn more about the candidates and everything else that are going on so my prediction is we're going to have at least 35 to 40 percent turnout uh, in the african-american community alone in baltimore city on september 13th uh, let me ask you this do you think sheila dixon will have any impact on this election um you know, I've spoken to, I'm sure, quite other few people who can't. I mean, as, as I pay in the crowd, I see some former uh, Dixon allies, uh -huh. uh, some people who were, you know, who have been longtime allies of her, uh -huh. and uh, see them with Pew memorabilia, Pew literature. Well, because Dixon's not here. I mean, so who else are you going to turn to? I mean, I think Otis that, Rowley? Uh, well. Jody Landers? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, that's that's for them to tell you, Donnie. But I can say I think she's very disappointed in how this, this city is being managed. It's not the same uh, leadership that she had. What do you mean? I mean, by all indications, uh, the current mayor has done... Uh, Everything opposite of what she's done. Um, she stopped in their tracks stuff like uh, the Land Bank Authority, that a lot of time and energy was placed in it. The recent property tax reduction rate that the mayor put out is basically the, the same exact plan that Dixon had back when she was mayor with slots revenue. And how do you put 20 cents in the next 10 years? Well, has, has this mayor brought anything unique to the table? Um, no, but I, I hasten to say she hasn't, but in the same sense as other people will tell you, a lot of people aren't very creative in politics. They just take the I, same I, I, same. I mean, what, one, one thing, it. two issues that I'm hearing over and over from the various candidates, one about vacants, vacant the values, dollar houses, blah, blah, blah. And then the other one about the property taxes, cutting the property taxes. At first, um, I didn't, I don't recall hearing anything from the mayor about property taxes. It was a pie in the sky. That's what she is, called it. Is that what it. she a called it? A pie in the sky, uh, but, but this, by the, her challenges. But this week she came out with? With a plan. Uh, so it makes it just look like and be perceived as purely politics. Um, and un understandably, I have a lot of admiration for the mayor and the hard work she puts in. She's been a hard worker since she's been in the 6th District. She puts in the time, energy, and is very serious about her job. Never take that away from her. But I do think that her policies are behind the times, and she knocks others for ideas that were brought to the table before her, and she tries to reframe them as hers. And that's the problem that I have a lot of the policy issues. That she is this election, in fact, a, a referendum on Martin O'Malley here in the city of Baltimore? This election is a referendum on the lack of leadership we have in the city of Baltimore, where the, the administration, both in the state and the city, have really taken this city into the toilet. And a lot of people are afraid that if the wrong people are elected, that we can't withstand another four years of the demise of the city of Baltimore. We'll probably lose at least another quarter million people, if not more, over the next five to 10 years. We can't withstand that. It's about time for change. And we have to be able to change the paradigm of the politics that run the city of Baltimore. One final question. Uh, what's the significance of an endorsement from this uh, AFL-CIO? Uh, the significance is, is that they have opposed to other people, like IMA, who don't really have the leadership 
the, the, the parishioners don't follow what the leadership says, in other words. The delegates in here usually, and there's a lot of delegates, uh, when the leadership and the delegates here uh, vote for and endorse a candidate, nine times out of ten, 80 to 90 percent of their followers, of their union members, brothers and sisters, follow suit because they know they have their best interests at heart when they do such. Good deal. So it's a, it's a big endorsement. Good deal. Thank you for your time, Sean Giordano. Any final plug? ValueMyVote2011.com, where all the candidates one-on-one -on -one with the candidates, news, information, polls, and more. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth.